Good morning, planet Earth. It's 1.43 a.m. And, uh, well, doing some, some 803, some waves and vibrations. Uh, of course, this is P-set is a little bit different than others that I've done because it requires me to do a take-home experiment. So let me tell you a little bit about the difficulties that I've gone through so far. Um, so we're doing... You know, damped oscillatory motion um, and we're supposed to make our own pendulum so they said to you know go into the little they said get some fishing line and make a pendulum with a 10 ounce weight so I found the 10 ounce weight because it is a weight that says 10 on it uh, but then in the little pouch with stuff there is both string and a thicker thing that is coiled. Um, and on here it says two meters of monofilament and four meters of braided fishing line. So I've never gone fishing. So I don't know which one is which. So I thought, ah, I'll measure it. So I kind of measured it, and I've determined that this was the fishing line. But then, I don't know how to, this, this, you can't really tie this onto a weight because it's really slippery. And then later they were talking about a string, and in the picture, the little drawn diagram, it showed a string, so I said, okay, I'm going to switch to the string because it's easier. Um, so maybe this is what you're supposed to do, and maybe it's not. Not really sure. So uh, then it said to tie it, uh, you want a, a string, you want it to be, you know, one meter long. I figured, okay, this is two meters, so half of it will be one meter. It's the math major in me coming out. Um, so, then it said, you know, hang it from somewhere. How, where am I supposed to hang a meter long pendulum in my room? With, it's, it's not very safe. I mean, I tried hanging it from the doorknob, but there are glass, empty glass bottles of Nantucket Nectar's orange juice on the ground that this could hit. And it's actually like hits the ground anyway, so it wouldn't work. Then I decided, aha, I mean, it's over there. I will tie it to the ceiling. So uh, I, this is now my attempt uh, to conduct an 803 experiment. Uh, for those of you, so this is, you know, this is an MIT student at work doing experimentation. Here we go. I'm going to attempt to uh, tie this to the little pole thing up here. So, uh, okay, it's about a meter, I believe, looks, yeah, about a meter. So I'm gonna try to weave this through. Oh man, this is, uh, it's difficult. Let's see. Okay, that's through. Uh, I'd like to point out also that this is the this pipe is connected to the fire alarm system uh, so I'm hoping that it neither sets off sprinklers or breaks a pipe or anything like that but if it does then I'm blaming 803 and I believe that I should get an A uh, on this experiment for my effort so now I need to finish tying this uh, Go. Oh man, this is this is not as easy as it looks. Uh, I don't know maybe if it looks easy or not. Okay. Um, oh man. I think that's longer than a meter. Rats. Well, uh, let's try this again. Uh, we're going to just. Yeah, that's definitely like a meter. So this is a meter. So I want that to stay right there. So this needs to come through. Oh, snap, it slipped a little bit. Okay. Come 
on. Come on, don't let me, uh, let me down here. And do this. Aha! Okay, the first thing has been done. Now I just need to get it through for a second time. Oh man, this is uh, it's tough. Uh, put this through here, and then we're gonna pull it. Okay, and now we're gonna pull this. Ah, uh -huh. and I have a pendulum. Ah, beautiful. Man, so I didn't hurt myself. I have yet to set off any fire alarms. Oh man, this is great. Great, I'm gonna actually put this part of the string up here so it can get in the way. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but it'll be fine. Oh, maybe I'll put it here. There we go. Okay, uh, let's measure the length of this thing. So, um. It is, we're going to have it at rest. It is uh, one, two, three, oh no, three, um, oh man. Three feet and ten and a half, uh, ten and a half inches. So that will be, uh, 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 you know, ten and uh, three feet and ten and a half inches. Which means that, um, well, uh, let's see. Uh, so. 3.875 feet uh, I, I, I is equal to a, it's a, one foot is about 3.2 meters um, so or, or sorry one meter is about 3.2 feet uh, so 3.875 feet is about 1.21 meters so I'm gonna make a little uh, scientific note of that is that my my L length is 3.2 meters uh, and now we are going to conduct the experiment. So what we are supposed to do is somehow get this ruler behind here, and this is supposed to be like mounted to something else. I don't, I don't know if they think that I have a lab in my room or what something, but I, I definitely don't. Um, so we're going to improvise, and I'm going to hold it, I guess. Now let me consult uh, the instructions here. Okay, now what I'm going to do, what I'm going to demonstrate to you, my friends, uh, is I'm going to yeah, find a way of mounting the plastic ruler behind the pendulum. Right. Uh, release the pendulum from an initial amplitude of about 15 centimeters. Then I'm going to uh, find out how long it takes to go through 20 oscillations. Uh, and that will there then I can figure out the period. So, I'll pull out my iPod Touch for my uh, stopwatch since my watch broke and I can't get it the back off to replace the battery. Uh, so let's see. Chances are my iPod is going to die in the middle of this, but that's all right. Okay, so you guys even you guys can even count with me if you want. I'm gonna move this down so you can see my my exciting lab here. So here we go. Uh, this, wait, a, a 15 cent, do you think they mean 15 centimeters like in the air? 15 centimeters diagonally? 15 centimeters, what are they talking about? Let me check this again. Huh. Okay, it just says release it from an amplitude of 15 centimeters. So, I'm going to say then that uh, 15, uh, oh, 15 centimeters, I'm in inches. Uh, 15 centimeters is 
is there. Oh man. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I don't have like three, I've had, I need three hands. Because I can't do stuff with my feet, it's too difficult. So, um, let's see. I really should mount this on something. Perhaps I will create something to mount it on. Uh, Aha! I know what I can do. Here is the ideal solution. Are you ready for this? Because I don't think you are ready for this. I just have to find tape. And then I can mount it. Here it is, tape. So what we're going to do is I will mount this pendulum to the one thing that I can mount it to, which is myself. So here we go. Pendulum. Oh, no. Not sticking. Um, hmm. Perhaps I need more tape. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm over ten minutes now. So thank you, YouTube, for giving me extra time to film this video. Here we go. All right. Maybe I'll, I'll do it with my arm? This is no good. I don't have any stronger tape, either. Oh, no, we can do. We will take the tape. Oh, no. Tape. And make a armband around my arm of tape. Thus, it will stick. Oh man, this is it's a challenge here, guys. I've never come across something quite like this at MIT. Alright, now it is mounted. So now I can proceed to measure as required, but then I can uh, do I can do everything that I need to. So, oh man, this is a lot. So we want uh, 15 centimeters. Okay, centimeters, which is right here. We're going to time it. One. Here we go. Count with me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three squared, five times two, twelve minus one, twelve minus zero, thirteen, fourteen. 5 times 3, 4 squared, 17, 18, 19, 20, 44 seconds, well 44.9 seconds. Let's make a scientific observation note of that. So 44.9 seconds. I feel very scientific. Now I'm going to do it one more time to corroborate my results and make sure that it is valid because you know one trial is never enough so here we go we will once again pull this out to let's see okay pull this out to 15 centimeters oh snap I have not in position to, to click start. So we're gonna pull it out to 15 centimeters. Start. One, two, three, four, five, three times two, seven, 16 divided by 2, switch it up that time, 18 divided by 2, 20 divided by 2, 121 divided by 11, 